Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be testing out Dior products. I don't think I've ever actually tried anything from Dior, but I've been obsessed with their like fashion and handbags and things like that lately. So I decided I wanted to give the makeup a try. So we're gonna try out the foundation. It is the Forever Skin Glow Foundation. They're a Forever Skin Correct Concealer. And then the Dior Iconic over curl mascara. So if you want to see how these products work, then just keep watching. So like I said, I've never tried makeup from Dior, so I wanted to give it a shot. Um, I'm obsessed with like the base of makeup. I did want to try some of their like bronzer and highlighting and blush palettes But um, they were not in stock in my store and I was too impatient to wait for it to ship I went ahead and bought these so I have I don't think any of this is too new I think they're new ish, but not like fresh off the market new Anyway, so we have the Forever Skin Glow. It's a 24-hour wear radiant perfection skincareing foundation with sunscreen. Oh, didn't even see that. Let me read about this one. So they have a matte one, and then this is the Skin Glow one. So it's $52. Wow, I didn't realize that. <laughs> I bought it when I had the VIB sale. So it's supposed to be a medium to full coverage that remains flawless for up to 24 hours with a radiant finish and SPF 35. That's nice. Tested through heat and humidity. Oh, good to know. I'm actually going um, on a trip to Florida, so I do actually need some foundations that can last because my skin has been changing lately. I don't like it, so I've been having a hard time with makeup. <laughs> Anyways, the other thing we got is the Forever Skin Correct. Um, this is the 24-hour wear caring full coverage creamy concealer. Retails for $36. It's supposed to be a 24-hour multi-purpose full coverage creamy concealer that corrects and hides under eye circles, redness, blemishes, and imperfections. And then the last product I got. This is the Dior Duh. Dior Show Iconic Over Curl Mascara. Retails for $29.50 and I got it for $20. I got it for $29.50. I got it in the color black. I don't think there is any other color. Um, let me tell you, I forgot to mention. So for the color of concealer, I get got 0N, which I believe is the absolute lightest you can get. Let me just confirm. I think it is. Yes. So I got the absolute lightest shade you can in the concealer. I tried to get the absolute lightest shade you could in the foundation, and I was able to order it, and then by the time I went to go pick up my order at the store, they had sold out of it, so I just got the shade up, which sucks because I have already tried this and it's too dark. Um, so I should have gotten 0N for foundation as well, but instead I got 1N, which it's so crazy because like their pictures online, like look at this glass at the bottle online. Do you see how pale that looks? But then when you swipe, the arm swatches, it's like, wait a minute, it actually looks pretty dark. It does not match me. I think I'm gonna go, I'm, I placed another order this morning to go pick up at Sephora because we are going on vacation so there's some stuff that I needed that I'm pretty much out of or like my husband's out of his clone. So I ordered stuff to pick up so I think when I go pick it up I'm just gonna ask if they have it back in stock and if I can exchange it because I already know this is not my color. So I'm gonna do it and use it anyways because the formulation is not gonna matter about the color. So I am gonna use it today just to show you but I'm hoping I can get a different color today. So, let's just go ahead and store it. I did not put anything on my face except for a moisturizer um, because I've been using, well, I guess I could do the Tatcha. See, I know how this performs and I also know how this performs, but I also just, I think I'm not gonna use anything because I kinda wanna see what this does on its own and then if it turns out it like needs something to fill in my pores or anything like that, then I'll use those. So, this is, the packaging it's got the cute little CD on it this is in a one fluid ounce so standard and it is a glass bottle so it's the only thing like I know not many people are traveling because of what's going on but whenever you start traveling <laughs> that is something to keep in mind okay so I think I'm gonna do it <laughs> I'm a sponge person so I think I'm just gonna use a sponge I'm not even gonna test a brush because I would never use it so I think I'm gonna go between a microfiber sponge because this is what I really like to use and then I also have the Laura Lee Los Angeles sponge which is kind of like your standard 
sponge. Actually, this is slightly nicer than your standard sponge. So I think I'm just gonna do half and half and see which one I like better. So let's go ahead and dip, look at this. Do you see how dark this is compared to me? This is the second lightest shade. Why? That's so dark. Anyways, okay. That's the one thing that bugs me about companies is a lot of companies do not make very fair shades. They don't make very dark shades, but they also are missing the sh fair shades. Oh. How am I gonna do half my face? I think I'm gonna leave my nose out of it and kind of just get a slight amount on my nose since my nose is still my problem area. With my skin changing, I don't know what to do because this gets oily, like my actual nose, but the sides of my nostrils are still stupid dry. I don't get it. Wow, okay. Oh, I miss being tan. Look at that compared to my neck. Granted, my neck is always the whitest part of me, so don't really do that in comparison, but you can see my face still, it's too dark. So this is essentially one layer with the microfiber. So I would say it is definitely medium coverage. Almost to full coverage, actually. Okay, let's go ahead and try the other sponge, which I would compare this to kind of like your Beauty Blender, your Real Techniques, but it is actually slightly nicer. I don't know how to explain it. It's just more, there's smaller holes, I guess I should say, so it's more smooth. Anyways, we're gonna use this. So, this is one layer with the Lorely Los Angeles sponge, so your standard sponge. This is where it's definitely more medium to light, whereas this is more medium to full. <sighs> you can definitely tell a difference. I will say though, the only benefit to using this kind of sponge versus a microfiber is I do feel like this helps penetrate your skin better than the microfiber does, but the microfiber doesn't hold or take as much product, so it is Definitely more full coverage on this side, but then this side looks more skin-like. All right, I'm just gonna go slightly over this to kind of help blend it in and maybe soak up some product now that it's sat a little bit. And I'm actually gonna go in with my microfiber on the other side and build up this coverage because I need more. I do not like my redness showing. Okay, let's go on to concealer now. So like I said, I did get this actually in the lightest shade. Probably gonna be uh, quite a contrast. I will tell you, this feels like hefty for a concealer, which I actually enjoy. It comes with 0.37 fluid ounce. Let me see if that's standard. This is two fluid ounces, no way. I pay so much for this hourglass one. What are you, Clinique? Two fluid ounces. So it looks like this actually comes with more than the standard, 0.25, yeah. So this actually comes with more than the standard, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and just use this. Let me get my shit ready. So I'm going to use an expensive foundation, an expensive concealer, and a cheap Maybelline powder. That's how we work around here. Gotta mix it, right? So it definitely has a bigger doe foot. It is flat-ish, no, I guess not. Anyways, I would think that this being the lightest concealer shade would have been lighter than it is, but okay. I feel like my camera is picking it up even lighter than this is. Probably shouldn't have put this on my eyes, but whatever. I think I'm just going to use this so it, well, no. Hold on. I got a new brush that I want to try. This is from Flower Beauty. It is the concealer tapered brush. Bruh, how do you get you out? Aha. Looks like a really nice, like, pointed flat brush, so I'm just gonna use that for at least one side. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I don't think I like this brush. <laughs> I feel like it's not packed tight enough. <sighs> Let me just blend them together. Oh, how much? <laughs> Dang it, I just took off my freaking foundation. I'm gonna use the sponge for this side. Okay, so this is what my face looks like so far. Um, only thing I've powdered is my under eyes right now, just because I didn't want that to crease. So, this is how we are looking. 
Definitely not full full coverage. Probably could have tried to build it up, but I didn't want to. I'm gonna go ahead now and finish the rest of my face and then we'll come back, we'll do the mascara and then we can talk about initial thoughts and then we'll do end of day at the end of the day. <laughs> okay, so my makeup is done. Um, my neighbors are moving, so if you hear loud banging, sorry. Shouldn't be loud to you. Really quickly, because I tend to get asked this later on. Ignore the nose. I highlighted it way too much. It's fine. Um, lips. So I just bought this and I wanted to try it out. It's from Flower Beauty. It is the Petal Pout Lip Liner in the shade Toffee. I really like this shade. This is really pretty. And then I put the Jaclyn Cosmetics Liquid Lip in Get Real on top. Yo. Okay, let's do the mascara now. Um, is there anything on here that we should mention? Revolutionary mascara with a curved brush that offers spectacular volume and curl pattern. I don't really see anything special. So let's just go ahead and try this out. Honestly, I bought it for the packaging. To be 100% honest, I just love this packaging. Um, so like I said, it is a curved brush. So let's just try it out. Let me get a small mirror. Okay, so here is one. I did not curl my lashes. To be honest, I don't normally. I should, but I don't. So this is just to see how it performs on its own. Because to be honest, I'm normally too lazy to curl them. So there is one layer. Let's go ahead and do another because I always do two. Okay, this dried really fast. Crap. Okay, so there is whoa two layers to be honest i really like this i feel like it definitely gave me length and gave me longer lashes i can't say I necessarily curled them because i already have naturally kind of curled lashes so i feel like they're just sitting where they normally do so i bet if i took the time to actually curl my lashes they would probably be really nice however i've had these for like oh my god 10 years I have not touched them in probably four. I just don't curl my lashes. I am luckily, I am luckily, I am lucky enough to have naturally curled lashes, so I just don't really touch that. But if you don't have curled lashes, I don't know how this would help you. I mean, obviously a curler would help, but if you need longer lashes, this definitely, definitely lengthened them. And I like that it didn't like clump them together. Okay. I like this. Awesome. So, this is my makeup. As of right now, it is 10.40 something in the morning. I have had this foundation actually on for <clears throat> almost an hour. To be honest, I've sat here for like, well, nah, maybe a half hour. Because I've sat here for at least an hour. So, about 10 o'clock-ish is when I actually had the foundation and concealer on. So, we will go throughout the rest of the day, see what it looks like. I really want to put a gloss on. But I feel like if I don't put a gloss on, I could get away with still putting a mask over and not having my lips come off. So we're not going to put one on. Anyways, I will check back in then at the end of the day. Hey guys, um, I figured we'd do a check-in. It is 4 o'clock, so I've had this on for... What time did we say? We'll say 10, so 10. <sighs> so I've had this on for 6 hours. I'm just uh, editing and concerned because... My computer just acted like everything wiped of iMovie. Anyways, um, so this is the makeup so far. Nose obviously looks horrible, always looks horrible. Otherwise though, um, we'll ignore that I just got that. I look at this. I got the freaking lip stuff because I was taking a drink of my, what do you call it? This, I can't speak today. Um, my Hydro Flask. And so my lip is a little big and I, Anyways, other than that, it's looking pretty good. So that's our six hour check-in. We'll still check in again at the end of the night. Okay, so this is my final check-in. It is now 7.15, so it's been on for about nine hours. My lips are gone, but the makeup actually looks really good. Like, I've been sweating and it's still here, surprisingly. <laughs> that I thought would be gone. But like, I actually think it looks really good. It is kind of gone on my chin, but that is on me. <laughs> I took a drink of an old drink I didn't realize was old and sitting there. I thought it was the one I had currently. And so I kind of spit it up. <laughs> and so that, that one's on me. But yeah, concealer 
held up. Um, it is creasy, but to be honest, I don't think it's as bad as I've had. There you go. Whoa, we are up close and personal, but hey, you can see the makeup too. My nose does not look that great, but honestly doesn't look bad either. This side does, but that, that's, that's normal for me. Honestly, I love this. This is like, oh, and also, I forgot we're doing mascara too. Mascara is still on, has not flaked literally at all. So, mascara is great, foundation is great, concealer, I think it's pretty good. I think I probably would like it better if I use a little less because it is creasing, but I do have creases naturally. So it's gonna crease, sorry, I'm holding you. So that's why you keep seeing that and normally don't ever see that. Anyways, yeah, I actually really love all these products and definitely recommend them and I'm going to go get my right shade because this is bomb. Anyways, that is all I have for this video though. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.